For this example, we're given the MOSFET voltage amplifier here. To find the gain, we're going to follow these steps, and we would do this for any kind of problem like this. We need to find the DC bias points. We're going to calculate the values of the small signal parameters, so GM, R0, and this is at the DC bias point. Right? So we also need to solve for the value of the small signal voltage gain at the DC bias point, where we set our AV equal to our negative GM. We have our R0 in parallel with our RD for a circuit that looks like this. For the MOSFET amplifier shown, for this specific one, we need to find the voltage gain if our ID is equal to this, our RD is given, and so we have our W over L, K, posh V, and lambda. So given all of this information, where are we going to start? Well, we first need to calculate the small signal parameters at the bias point, right? That's what it's telling us to do. So because of our RD, we're going to find the voltage um, OV, which is the overdrive voltage by solving for our ID. So if we look at the notes linked below the like button on about page uh, 79, we are going to find that our ID is equal to our K apostrophe N over two. We have our W over L, and then we have our VGS minus VTN, and we can rewrite this as the overdrive voltage squared. And so we want to solve for our VOV. So let's rewrite this. We're gonna have our VOV equal to the square root and then we are going to have our, if we rewrite this out, our ID. And our ID, we know to be 400 times 10 to the negative sixth. And then we have times two, because we need to flip this over if we're gonna move it to the other side. And then we have times our um, L uh, over the, or W over L. And our W over L, if we look back here, is gonna be the 200. So we have this two, times a 200 here. Actually, well, this is gonna be 200 like this, right? So if we move it to the other side, it's going to be one over 200. So this is going to be our 200 here. Let's not forget about our K apostrophe N. And the K apostrophe N is just going to be 100 times 10 to the negative six. So this is gonna be how the problem's laid out. We can cancel out these 10 to the negative six. We can simplify these zeros here, to make this a one over 100. So we're essentially going to have the square root of 4 over 100. And that's going to give us a VOV equal to approximately 0 0.02, and this is in volts. So that's our VOV. So now let's find our GM. And this can be found also in the notes linked below the like button. Our GM is going to be on a page approximately 91. We have our GM here. We have multiple different formulas for it. However, for this one, we're going to use the last one. So our GM is two times our ID over our VOV. And again, that's on page 91. So if we look at this, we can just plug in the values that we know. We have our GM equal to two times ID is 400 times 10 to the negative six over our VOV, which is 0 0.02. And actually that is wrong. So I was looking at this. I didn't take the square root of it. If you just do four over 100, that is going to be 0 0.04 but if you take the square root of that it's obviously not going to be a 0 0.02 because the square root of 0 0.04 is going to be 0 0.2 so let's actually get rid of that zero right there and we'll rewrite the answer like this so looking at this one again uh, we can just take the point out of there so it's just 0 0.2 and we can exclude this for now so we're not going to worry about this um, and then we're gonna have two times 400, which is 800 divided by our 0 0.2. And that's gonna give us approximately 4,000 micro amps because we didn't use the 10 to the negative six. So we'll do micro A here. Um, and this is over volts. That's the GM value because we have our ID VOV. So just pay attention to the units. We excluded them here for simplicity. And what we can do now, since this is 10 cubed, this is 10 to the negative six. Uh, these values are just gonna cancel out. So this is going to become a 10 to the negative three. And this is going to be, because it's 10 to the negative three, it's equal to one milli. So we're gonna have four milliamps over volts right there. So it's a little bit, um, a lot of work with the math right here. Uh, we're just plugging in values into the equation. Now we're gonna find our RDS, which is one over the lambda times our ID. And so RDS is equal to one over, if we go back to our problem, our lambda here is 0 0.1 volts to the negative one. So we're gonna have 0 0.1 um, times our 400. 
So if we do one divided by our 0 0.1, make sure you use parentheses, um, times the 400, it's going to give us a value of approximately 0 0.025. And we can rewrite this as 25 kilo ohms. Now we can see that this is actually the same value as our RD here. So now we want to find our AV. So now that we have all of these values, we are going to plug them in and solve for this part. So our AV is equal to the negative GM. And the negative GM we found previously as four milliamps. So we're gonna do four times 10 to the negative cubed. And then we have our R naught in parallel with our RD. So that means so that means that we are going to have 25 times, well, 10 to the cubed times 25 times 10 to the cubed, or we can just write that as squared. And then we're just going to take this 10 to the cube plus 25 times 10 to the cubed, and we are going to add it all together on top. And the 10 to the cubes, like are here, it's gonna cancel out with here. And these two can be factored out and canceled out with this one. And so basically we're gonna have a 50 over 25 times 25 times four. And this is gonna give us a value of AV is equal to negative 50 V over V. And so that is our AV value for this problem. And then note that the lambda must be included to find gain, but it's often neglected for our bias. So if we didn't have it here, it'd be like zero and it's basically zero for here, 0 0.1.